Welcome back to Speak Up here on the CW Philly. I'm Natasha Brown. The first ever Philadelphia Interfaith Children's Festival is happening later this month, and the organizers say they are hoping to enhance the mind, body, and spirit of young people. And joining me this morning is Nia Moshe Nelson. She is the event coordinator, and Rugiatu Conte. Rugiatu is the outreach and communications director for the Council on American Islamic Relations here in Pennsylvania. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you. It's good to have you here. Let's talk about this event. You're really getting a lot of people together for this. Let's, let's talk about how that all started. That's a really good question. Um, it just happened. <laughs> <laughs> it was that simple. Yeah, it's yeah. really, it was that simple. Um, the, I run a nonprofit called the Metropolitan Christian Council of Philadelphia. And um, my board president and I were talking about doing some things. I'd been wanting to do a children's festival for years. Mm -hmm. And um, he um, had mentioned that uh, an imam had uh, talked to him one day about how nice it would be to have an interfaith festival where people learned about others' uh, faith traditions. And uh, I said, Steve, we can do this. And so before I knew it, we were doing this. And it has come together very well. We have over 10 um, faith traditions coming together on the 25th and 26th. And uh, we're taking it from the uh, perspective of creating a community on the grounds of New Covenant Campus and having villages within the community. And each village will uh, be uh, represented by a faith tradition. Wow, that's going to be really interesting. And it's a children's festival, so you're starting with the young people. Mm -hmm. The goal is to really try to educate them because we know that it's extremely important for us to have uh, religious tolerance. We live in a global world and uh, we want to educate the kids, but it's an event for the entire family. We have everything from baby massage and petting zoos to card games and dominoes for adults. <laughs> and we also have basketball competition, all kinds of fun. We have a lot of things going on. Yeah, yeah, getting the whole family involved. Absolutely. Yeah, and you can talk to us a little bit, Rugiatu, just about uh, your position here and what you'll be helping to do. Right. Um, CARE is a proud sponsor of the Interfaith Children's Festival, and we feel that it's a really good opportunity to um, basically spread information about Islam and Muslims. We're living uh, in a very uh, sensitive mood right now as far as um, Islam and Muslims are in America. So we, we feel like it's a great way to get um, people to understand uh, Islam and to understand about Muslims. Yeah, and it seems like a very timely event in light of what right. we're seeing in the national headlines recently with the uh, burning of the Quran or the pastor in Florida who was suggesting that that's what he was going to do. Right. Also that huge controversy in New York with the mosque being built near Ground Zero. Right. Your thoughts about that and, and how this will hopefully help Right. Uh, I think it will definitely help. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have different booths that talk about the Quran. Um, so people will get a chance to actually read it or buy a Quran. Um, and then you'll realize that we have so much in common. Um, and people would figure out that, you know, we're, we're more similar than different. And I think that's the goal of the, the festival. Yeah, and that's what you hope people leave with that day? Tell me what you Absolutely. hope. Absolutely. I don't want the person who comes to the festival to be the person who leaves. I want them to have a transformative experience, not only the children, but the adults as well. So in addition to having Christians use Muslims, we have a lot of uh, uh, other faith traditions. Uh, we have um, the Sikhs are going to be participating. Uh, we have uh, a Hindu exhibit. We have Mormons participating. We have Native Americans participating. Uh, we have Buddhists coming on board. So it's going to be a very eclectic mix of people, and it's going to be not only interfaith, but international as well, which mm -hmm. is consistent with the United States. We're the most heterogeneous country in the world. Mm -hmm. So I think it's going to be a really great event. Yeah, and what, what has this done for you, just uh, kind of being in the planning stages of this, and, and uh, you know, <laughs> well, right at the grassroots level? Well, other than being really tired. <laughs> <laughs> other than that. Yeah. It's transformed me a lot. You mm -hmm. know, one of the things I'm doing now is because we have so many faith traditions that are coming together, I'm making it a point to sit down and read a little bit about each group mm -hmm. so that I can see where our similarities lie and where uh, the differences uh, lie. And so I'm educating myself, and, and that's one of the key things I want uh, to happen at the festival. Yeah, and do you think that's, that's what happens a lot of times? You, I mean, you have your own religion. Right. We all do. It's, uh, we can only hope. Right. But you think you just are so tunnel-visioned on what you believe believe that you're not really as accepting or even understanding of others' religion. Right, that's so true. I was just telling Nia Moshe that um, 
before this festival, I was like well aware of, you know, the quote unquote Abrahamic faiths, but we've encountered with Sikhs and, Hin and Hindus. So that's something that, like Neil Moshe said, it's a learning process. And I just started learning about, you know, different faiths. Yeah. Yeah. And how, what does that do for you? Once you start learning about others, the faith of others, mm -hmm. what does that do for you personally? I think it, it makes it easier to deal with people, with uh, people of different faiths, and you, you become more ca compassionate towards other people, more understanding, and it just makes, to me, it makes the society better. Yeah. Yeah. And the emotion, maybe you can just remind folks again when the conference is? The um, event is September 25th. 5th and the 26th. Mm -hmm. It's on the campus of New Covenant uh, Church in Mount Airy, 7500 Germantown Avenue. And the time is from 11 until 5 on the 25th and 12 until 4 on the 26th. And it's free admission? Free admission, and we're going to even have a uh, free international potluck both yeah. days. Very nice, very yeah. nice. Homemade food. Oh, <laughs> even better. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I do appreciate you both being here. Thank you so much, and best of luck with the event. Thank, Thank you, you so right. much. We're going to take a quick break. You're watching Speak Up here on the CW Philly. Back in a moment.